toughest match of Weekly Warfare. We're starting off with a hardcore champion, Triple M. We don't know, we're not sure who his opponent's gonna be so far. We know there's gonna be a number one contendership match later on for the hardcore title. Here we go. That match, the ref's gonna have to prove Introducing it. Introducing first, title shot. from Franklin, Massachusetts, the hardcore champion, Triple M. There's Triple M with the awesome new UWA hardcore title belt. Finally, my belt. Triple M here. And their opponent. Here we go, introducing the opponent of Triple M. Representing the BTW. The heavyweight champion and the intercontinental champion. Looks like we got two champions from the BTW coming out right here to face Triple M. Not that bad though, so it should be a good day for wrestling. Waiting for them to make their way to the ring. Triple M starts it off. What's this, a pile driver? No, a power bomb. So I take it that is Brad from BTW. He's their intercontinental champion. This is his first match in the EWA. Triple M going for a suplex. Oh man, a stalling vertical suplex. Almost a float over on that. EWA hardcore champ, Triple M. This match could have hardcore rules, but from what we understand, oh, big leg drop. From what we've seen of Brad, he's more of a high-flying wrestler. Oh, oh. Low blow. What's he going to do here? Oh, throws Triple M down. Looks like he might have been going for a pile driver or something. Oh, oh, oh frog splash. Impressive. Wow, looks like he's given up a lot of size to Triple M, but... He's making up for it with that frog splash. Is this suplex? Oh, nice suplex. So that's Brad of BTW, his first EWA event. Oh, oh, God, he spiked him with that DDT. This is an impressive first match. I've never seen anybody in their first match take it to Triple M like this. What's this, Triple M setting him up on the ladder, maybe? No, he's picking him up. Is this going to be the Amityville Horror? Maybe not, I don't know. Triple M, he's trying to go up the ladder with it. We saw him try to do this to the ref. This kid Brad, he's insane. If Amityville Horror off the ladder. That is the most impressive move I think I've ever seen in the EWA. High impact, that's for sure. And look at this kid, Brad, he's still on his feet. Northern Light Suplex. Wow, look at that bridge. One, two. Only a two count. You can see the wind, it just blew the ladder right over. It's causing some technical difficulties to say the least, but still having a great match going on. Hardcore title is on the line. Oh. Triple M, Amity Vahar off the ladder, and it wasn't enough to take him out. Triple M's got a chair. This is a hardcore title match. Oh, low blow. What's he gonna do? Triple M's hurting. Oh, chair shot. Brutal. Could be over. We could have a new hardcore champ. I don't know, I mean... 
confirm, we didn't know this match was set to be the first match. We got a number one contenders match between the ref and a mystery opponent later on for a shot at the hardcore title at the next event. And this kid could win it right here. Oh, drop kicked it right into his leg. This is impressive. This match has been going on for a grueling five minutes. Triple M. Oh, DDT. This is one of the one of the greatest hardcore matches we've had in a while. And it's just starting right here. This is the ref is always doing my color commentary. And what's he doing? He's going back up on the ladder. This is insane. Oh no! Oh no! He's all the way to the top! Swanton from the top! Oh my god, that's an eight foot ladder! One, two! Two count. If I've ever seen a close to three count, that was it. This is one of the most impressive matches I've ever seen. UWA's got a new superstar here, it looks like. Triple M now. I don't think he's gonna be outdone. What's he gonna do? This is a high-flying match. We've already seen so much. Hardcore and high-flying. Triple M almost to the top of that ladder. No way. Moonsault! Unbelievable. It's over. Up. Was that a two or was that a three? Two count. Two count, Jonah says. I thought I saw a three, but not. Match is still going. He just kicked out Triple M, slamming him around. The ref doesn't like that, that referee work at all. I'm the lead official. I'm going to have to talk to Jonas Hubert after the match about that. Missile drop kick. you got to be clear right away on whether it's a two or a three, so I'm definitely going to talk to him about that. Back to this match, though. Unbelievable. Triple M, what's he going to do? Suplex, maybe? I don't know. This match has been going on for seven and a half minutes now. Oh, counted the suplex. Oh! He got that M80. It looked like Brad tried to duck it. This match is only for the EWA Hardcore title. The BTW Intercontinental Belt isn't on the line. But Oh, he got all of it that time. But they're both down. I mean, if he can't get on them and pin them, this match... Can't end. One, two, three. Oh, it's over. The winner of this match, it's still hardcore champion, Triple M. The hell of a match. I'm not worthy of another shot at Triple M. I've, I've come this close to beating him so many times. Why don't you just bring out my mystery opponent right now so I can get this over with? Shoot out of her mouth. She said, son, if there's one thing you do in your life, 
I want you to become the hardcore champion of an independent backyard extreme wrestling federation and, I, and it's cheat out of I, I, I can't think about it. And you, you, you know I hate wrestling so much. I can't do it. First, the heavyweight champion of the EBW. There we go, the EBW heavyweight champion making his way to the ring. He is Brad! Andrew! 
Peter come out, Martin and Brad had a match earlier on. Looking for the mic? Where the hell is that mic? I would. Don't run here. I will challenge any of you to a match out of all of you people from the EWA. I don't care who it is. Small people, big people, fat people, skinny people. All of you. I don't care. Just go. All right, he's, he's calling somebody out. His opponent needs to move. Introducing next, from Boston, Massachusetts, one of the new members of the EWA. He is J.C. Moon. Here we go, J.C. Moon. This is going to be quite the size mid-match. Coming out. Oh, into a drop kick. Here we go now. This match. It's going to be a clash of styles, to say the least. The world heavyweight champion of EBW. Oh, big kick. Andrew's taking on JC Moon. Big drop kick by JC Moon. He's huge to be doing drop kicks. What's he going for here? A big kick. The DDT, maybe? Oh! <laughs> A twisting suplex. Unbelievable. Unbelievable suplex. Oh, a punch. Solid punches. He's not afraid. This Andrew, he's the he's world heavyweight champion. We don't know much about him, but he's got to be good. Russian leg sweep. Should be a heck of a match. Sit Larry here, here, helping out on um, commentary. Oh, already hits him with the choke slam. Looks like he didn't pick him up that high for that one, though. JC Moon, if he lands him, it's going to be all over. Oh, no. Oh, he hit a leg drop. It's got to be over. Is this it? No, he kicked out. Let me remind you that this is not a, be a beach EW title match. No EBW heavyweight title on the line in this match, that's for sure. We haven't put him. We haven't even seen any of their videos, so we don't know. We don't know nothing about him. Yeah, we don't know enough to put their titles on the line in our event. Oh. Nor do we need to. Nor do EW we need to. Carries itself. We made that mistake with that TIW Federation once, so. <laughs> and um, look who, who won that title, <laughs> Chad Justice. Chad Justice ran away with the belt. That's all I remember, so. I remember pinning him one, two, three, fair and square. Oh, oh nice, nice drop kick. Looks like he got all of them. This has been a pretty uh, intense event so far. Tried to see on video, but it's really cold out. That changes the whole pace of the event. Another suplex. That one, it looked like he had it a little inverted. Been a good match, though. What's going on here? Oh, a punch right to the face. Just like William Regal with that. Oh, the punch. What was that? A little bit of uh, music playing, I don't know. Technical difficulties oh. from the wind, I guess. Big leg drop. The ref, right. he might have knocked the Triple oh, no, he's checking tough. on him. He's all right. That was a nice not. leg drop, yeah. He's definitely tough. Small but tough. Tough little cookie. It's been a tough match. <laughs> <laughs> Simply Irish. What is this? A Trek spear! Out. A gore! It's such a little jokey. It's been a good match so far. I don't know what to say. So far, I'd have to say, though, these EBW guys, EWA will bring them back oh. any time. X Factor. X Factor. That's his finishing move from Still, what I understand. Showing shades of Mr. Sunday Afternoon. Yep. Two. Except the difference between him and Mr. Sunday Afternoon is that Andrew actually shows up when he's scheduled. And, <laughs> and he didn't have to lose his title by getting his ass kicked in a parking lot. Yeah. That was pretty hilarious. Oh, JC just getting destroyed. This match has been going on for quite some time now. Four minutes. Oh, big punch. Oh, what's this? Not, not the ladder. Oh. He's got to be careful. I mean, he could have knocked himself out last time. What is going... Oh, no. What is this? Oh, choke slam off the ladder. JC looks impressed. Uh, it's got to be over. He looks proud of himself. That's it. 
The winner of this bet, J.C. Boone! Introducing first, from Talladega, Alabama, a legend in the EWA, J.B. Rooney! Coming out here and I'm pissed off. Last week you saw, I bring my button all the way from Alabama to help me out carry my bags. Chad got this, Scott O'Connor come, hit him with a car. I'm pissed off. So let's have that no more contender match for the Intercontinental title right now. I'll turn... Introducing next from Anaheim, California. One half of the smokeout, he is the Red Chad Justice! Do the 10 count right now. Count them out. One, two, three, four. I guess what's happening is that um, five, this is for uh, number one contendership for the six, Intercontinental title. But seven, Chad Justice is not showing up. I don't know. Eight, this is, this is, he was looking forward to this nine, match, I know. I don't know what happened. Ten, so I guess that means J.B. Roney is the number one contender. So I'm the number one contender. And I, you know what? It's, I don't feel like waiting until Extreme Chaos at the end of the month. Why don't we, right now, have the match? He wants Jonas to, a match here. right now? Is, is Jonas going to accept that? I don't know if he heard that in the back. Bring him out. Introducing next. From New York, New York. The EWA Intercontinental Champion of the World. Johnny Schubert. So I'm starting to come out and get this match underway. They're like pushing each other. Oh, the takedown with J.B. Roney. Oh. Hitting him right in the face. Oh. 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 Working on the arm. Oh. oh, stomping right on. That hurts. Oh. Oh. I guess the strategy, if he takes out his arm, oh. he can't do the gut wrench power bomb. Oh. Oh. Nice move by J.B. Roney. He breaks it. Oh, it kicks him out oh, stiff. Ah, Suplex. Oh, oh. oh it ah, hit him right ah, on the knee. No. Nice move by JB Run. No. Ah. Now he's working on the leg instead of instead of the arm. Irish here, helping out on commentary. Oh. oh he's Right in the face. I don't know where the heck Chad Justice is. This is really disappointing. He was looking, he kept talking about this match. He wanted to make a fool out of JB Roney, like I did in my TLC match. I don't know what, I don't know what happened. Really disappointing. Me, you know, only thing I can think of is like, he must be, um, you know, quote unquote, muff diving with a lady. Well, so let's get back to this match. This is always a good match whenever these two are involved. Oh no, not uh -oh. a surfboard. This. Alright. Oh, he couldn't get him. He couldn't get him up. Give your own encounters. Resisting. You gonna try that again? No, no. This move kills. Uh oh, no, no. Give your resisted again a second time. <laughs> you can see how it's kind of. It's all damp around here. You can see all the mud all over their pants. It's kind of. Oh. Gut wrench. Oh, one. gut wrench. Oh, he's picking up for two. Three. Three power bombs. Oh, he counted it. The pin. One, two. I, I, what, what is he doing? Oh, come on. What the hell are you doing? Why is he doing that? That's uncalled for. No need. Oh, damn. 
the power bomb. And an elbow by Jonas. Stomping. Come on, Jay Roney! Oh. What are they working together? It's a blackout. You like that? I'm gonna take both of you fucking ass. Oh! 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 Get him in an oh. ankle lock. Oh! Oh! It's open! What? What are they team? Why are they teaming up? I don't get it. He's got the belt. Oh, pedigree. He's gonna. Oh no, no. He's gonna hit him with the belt. Oh. Let's it up. Huh? They've had enough. Finish this son of a bitch. Let's go. Inverted 3D. One, two, three. Jonas Kubert retains the Intercontinental title thanks to Simply Irish. Thank you. Oh, what is it? What's this? He's teaming up with O'Connor? Introducing first. The Challenger from Parks Unknown! He is the Backdoor Bandit! She got a chainsaw. Seems all set. Looks like all left is to introduce the champion. Introducing next, the EWA Hardcore Champion from Franklin Bass, Triple M. Here comes Hardcore Champ. Oh, it's already a brawl. He's trying to get him with the chainsaw. Bandits and maniacs, we've seen him use everything. Wheelbarrows, chairs, cookie sheets, everything. Now he's trying to use a chainsaw. Oh man, he just put him through two or three tables. Oh my goodness, that was the whole UWA table supply he got put through. Oh, he just got creamed. Triple M. Stomp me. Uh. Triple M now. It's nice. Uh. Working off the leg with an an uh. ankle lock. Gets kicked off by the bandit. Uh. What is this now? Uh. Oh! Inverted German suplex through a table. That was beautiful. Oh, lays him down. <laughs> oh, hits him with a sawhorse. That hurts so much. Oh, another table. There goes all the EWA tables. What's he doing? Grabbing peaches. Him whatever's left. Oh man, broke it over a triple M. Don't tell me he's gonna do it again. Oh, a kick right in front of me. Ah. Triple M, Texas Cloverleaf. Yep. Not enough. This match has been intense. Oh, rolling senton by Triple M.
Triple M setting up that ladder so far away from the mats. It's almost always a headbutt when he goes from this distance. I don't know if he can make it. That's a really, really far distance. Oh, he hit it all right. Unbelievable. And Bandit's on phase. Just tossing him around. Big kick. Oh, Bandit now working over Triple M. Oh, no. Oh, threw a, another table. Unbelievable. This holds a record for the most table, tables used in one match in EWA ever. Oh, I don't know if that's enough. I mean, it's looking a little dangerous. That's close together. You might hit one of those sawhorses. Saw so that happened to J.B. Roney at our last one. Oh! Headbutted through a table. Simply Irish coming out. What is this? What is this all about? I don't know. I didn't know there was any problem between these two. I mean, I, I know Irish isn't friends with the bandit. Oh, beautiful blackout. Planted him right on his face. This is a hardcore title match. Oh. It's over. We've got a new EWA Hardcore Champion. The winner of this match and new Hardcore Champion, the Backdoor Bandit. There he goes. He's running away with the belt and the chainsaw. Look at the tarnish. Introducing first from Franklin, Massachusetts, Triple M. The Irish, you little bitch, cost me my hardcore title, which I've held for numerous months. It cost me my title, I'm taking yours. Get him out here. Introducing next, the World Heavyweight Champion from South Boston, Massachusetts, Simply Irish, Scott O'Connor. Here we go now. Match is kicking off a huge suplex by Simply Irish. World Heavyweight title match here. Oh! Triple M, I don't know how we compete, can compete after that last match being put through all those tables. Oh, huge DDT. What's he going for here? He's got him up on his shoulders. Oh, a Godfuster. We saw him unveil that at the last event. It looks like he might have hurt himself. Hurt his knee of doing it this time. Oh, nice arm pull. Snapmare. Triple M going with some wrestling holds here. It's 
Triple M going all the way up. Oh, huge frog splash. Looks like it knocked the wind out of both of them. How long is back? A big front flip uh, sent on. Oh, DDT'd on the top of his head. This match has been brutal. What is this, a German suplex? Oh, spiked him. Oh, big elbow drop. And another one. This is a main event at Weekly Warfare. With a world heavyweight title on the line. Where's Simply Irish going? Setting up the ladder. Triple M getting up. Oh! Looked like it was a big, possibly a double axe handle or Johnny, something. It looked one, good though. Two! Two! That was three! Complaining about the referee's count. Simply Irish going up the second ladder. I don't know what he's going for here. Triple M looks to be out of it. Oh, big cross body. Showing some good aerial moves this time. Oh, another elbow. Simply Irish just working over Triple M. Looks to be trying to go up the ladder again. Oh, he gets caught from behind. What is this? Oh, belly to back suplex off the ladder. It's incredible. Looks like it knocked the wind out of both of them. That was a belly to back superplex. Triple M trying to flip him over or pull him up or something. Looks like Simply Irish is out of it. Northern ah. Knight suplex with One, a pin. Two. Oh, it's only a two count though. Oh, uh, almost a kip up by Simply Irish. Just about, and then a cocky chuckle after it. Oh, hits him in the knee. Oh, twice with that metal tray. Oh, right over the head. Oh, full Nelson slam. Very impressive move there. Oh, and a big jumping leg drop. Only a two. Jonas Kubert out there. I don't know what he's doing. We saw Simply Irish help Jonas Kubert to retain the IC One, title today. Two, three. And we see the same thing again. Unbelievable. Still the world heavyweight champion. Simply Irish. Unbelievable. After Jonas Kubert came, I don't know if there's an alliance between them or I don't know what. This match, that was an impressive match for what it had. That's it.